All right, so I'm choosing the worst time to vlog because my dog is still finishing her food and I look like this. So, hi guys. Today's video is gonna be a video I have tried and failed at making. So, it's the good old transformation video. I have tried to film this so many times. I think maybe I uploaded one. If I didn't, then that's why. We are in quarantine, so I did a thing. Um, here's my baby. Hi. Anyway, so I just did my workout, which I've been trying to start working out at home. So far, it's like day five. Yesterday, I kind of cheated at working out because I didn't really do a workout. I just did like one butt exercise and that was it because I didn't want to work out. I worked out at like 11 o'clock at night, so I was too tired. Moral of this story, this is going to be like a mini quarantine get ready with me. Um, I want to try out a new makeup look. I want to do some stuff to my hair. I already crossed out one thing. <laughs> I did yesterday. I painted my nails. I haven't painted my nails in like three months. Um, me and my mom ordered off of Overtone. So I have highlights. I wanted to dye the first two strands of blonde right here. I know everyone's doing that, but I wanna try it too. So I got two of the sample size jars, which are $11 each. I think this is better if you're gonna do like those little, what's my dog doing? Lanny, what are you doing? <laughs> you trying to get comfortable? You're making my new pillows wet? I got these new pillowcases from Amazon. I think if you are gonna get from Overtone, I say just buy the sample size. Like if you're gonna do like little accents because this is how big like the actual jar is. So I don't think like anyone's gonna use this up and it expires in a year. So I say it's just better and less wasteful if you guys get like a smaller one. Let's go do this, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so it says to leave the dye in for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm probably gonna do like 15. Like look at how dirty my hair is. So I was gonna wash it after we did this. But like look, my highlights for some reason are really orangey. Like look, because these are my natural like roots. And it goes into this like orange crap. So I just don't know why. We need. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Okay, so with my old highlights, this would have worked better more with because these two strips up here were like bright blonde. While now it's not. I don't know why. I put my gloves on. Even though these gloves suck, they like move around a lot. You can't really like put the dye in properly. I feel like this isn't gonna do that insane of a job. Like I feel like it's just gonna be like eh, because my hair isn't like bleach blonde. The overtone's like a good thing for like beginners because it's easy and it's not intense. I guess I'll leave my fucking bangs like this. It's 1026. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it in for 15 minutes. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Literally not even a little bit. Look at my hair, it looks so bad. I don't brush my hair after the shower. I usually brush it before I shower, but since I did the dye, I didn't do that either. I think it just like made my hair orange. Since it does say rinse, I think you're not supposed to go back and like wash your hair. Um, I actually had to wash my hair though because my hair was gross. It does say leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes or longer since my hair isn't bright blonde like you know i'm going to go back in with this once my hair is dry and i'm gonna leave it in for like 30 minutes right now i am going to whiten my teeth i'm not gonna film me putting this on because no so i just have the moon kendall whitening pen i really like this like i definitely recommend moon and i think their whitening prices aren't outrageous and they work really well and the packaging's really cute it's a little brush so i'm going to put this on and leave it in and then hopefully when i come back my hair will be a little bit drier so then i can put the dye in again okay, so before i put this stuff on i wanted to say i'm probably also going to shave my face <laughs> looking a little peach fuzzy and i don't like it also i just did pop like two pimples so I'm gonna put this on and then I'll probably film myself shaving my face here all right teeth you look better here's the strip my sister was saying it helps like blend my highlights more like literally it's these two strips I don't see it I feel like it just made my highlights more like not as white I guess I'm gonna do my whole head purple. I'm purple. Pink. No, they're being idiots. Ah! 
Okay. Andrea's puppy is a foodie and constantly wants fucking food and it's really frustrating. So there she goes. She's gonna do her purple and use my shit. First, just section it off. I'll brush it as I go. I'm not gonna talk through this. I'm just gonna do it, I guess. Okay, so I'm not going to put the pink stuff on the bottom of my hair because there's no highlights there. Okay, I found the first strand of barely any highlights, so I'll just pull a little bit. Can you tell I've never freaking dyed my hair? Okay, so that's my whole head covered very shittily. I'm gonna leave this in for like maybe an hour to 30 minutes. No gloves. This is how much my whole head used. So I still have a good amount to dye strips of hair. And this is my hair. I see some pink here and there, it's very faint. But my hair is still wet, so we will see how it looks. I'm letting it air dry, natural, I'm not gonna like straighten it or anything. So I'm going to just quickly do my makeup. I will talk you guys through my eyeshadow look. I'm doing the peachy pink look that I was wearing in my Sip Spy March video. I'll have a picture of it up right here. I did that and I really liked it. So these are the palettes I'm using. My friend Kim gave me a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. She gave me this ColourPop one. I think you say it like Soul. I don't know though, but I used like this shade and I think that and maybe this shade. I don't really remember because I've only done this look like once before. So for the yellow I used from the QDF palette, I used the yellow obviously in there, but to make it more like neon looking, I used from the Laura Lee Party Animal palette, I used this thing. I'm not gonna say the name because it's super cringy. It's a party, are you serious? I remember when everyone made fun of her for this palette, but I ended up using the two blues in here for a look I did at work, and I'll put the picture up right here. Pigmentation was there. Blendability, no. It's like a really weird, like, it, they just don't wanna blend. I still love this palette. Thank you, Kim, for giving me makeup. <laughs> so for the face, I'm just gonna do my Maybelline stuff. This Too Faced concealer, the Too Faced powder, um, primer. I think I'm gonna use my little putty primer from e.l.f. Probably gonna use the butter bronzer. I'm gonna quickly show you guys, like, the makeup I'm using in the, like, time lapse, just so you guys I don't have to go like read in the down bar because I'm probably not gonna put what makeup I use in the down bar. For brows, I'm using this Bella Pierre little stay put brow gel. If you ever get that in Ipsy, definitely use it because it's pretty good. I have this like little tart blush in Quirky and it's like a really bright like peach. So I might use that to kind of match up with the eyeshadow. Anyway, so yeah, on to the time lapse. <laughs> Baking. I try to do that nose bake that everyone does. I'm trying to use it up. I don't really like it anymore. I'm gonna wipe off the bake off of here, then I'm gonna bake my little line. I'm gonna put some bronzer on my forehead. I'll be back for the eyeshadow. I am back for the eyes. Um, I don't know, I feel like whenever I baked my forehead, it made everything very dry, obviously. Ow. And also, I just, I hate this bronzer. It picks up on every texture. So, and then my highlighter turned out awful because I used a setting mist and it dried down and this side was fine. So I was like, oh, okay. So this side's gonna look good. And it like made it like splotchy, like where like the little droplets of the mist were, so. I'm gonna go in with, I think, Cute AF first. Yeah, and I'm gonna use this pretty peach as like a little transition shade on this cute tiny little brush from Ipsy. It's by Luxie. It's their blending 237. 237 brush. I think I'm actually gonna go in with this little orange with the same brush. This one tends to be like more vibrant. You see what I mean? It's more vibrant than this side. I'm gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna use a fluffy like little blending brush. This was like the brush I used last time. And I just kinda... <laughs> I think I used my finger. What am I talking about? But I did use this one to blend it out. 
Whatever, I'm gonna set down the overall color and then just blend it up. Okay, I'm gonna go with my ring finger. I'm just gonna pack it on. Also, my dog's snoring. Oh, I'm just gonna start barking. My yesterday's nap, she howled. And it was really funny. I'm gonna go in with the same color, but this time I'm just gonna blend it. Now how I said I wasn't gonna use a shimmer. I did this the last time. I said I was gonna do all matte, but then I went in the color up and just like put it everywhere. It looked really good. I'm gonna go in with this like little brush. In the Cute AF palette, there's like a really good um, skin tone color. So I'm gonna clean up everything. I'm also just gonna go right here. Now I just made like a weird shape. I'm also gonna bring it under here just to make the yellows brighter. Now I'm gonna go back in with my little brush here and take the vibrant color I really like and kind of blend everything. Okay, before I forget, I did just go in with um, this color on my ring finger and it just adds like a cool sheen to it I just take a little bit. I just dabbed it like that. I guess I'll do the yellows So first off going into this palette. Here's my yellow pencil brush attach it to this part and this color alone is like really good I also bring it into the inner corner <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in here and take this one. And it kind of just makes the yellow more cool toned. Last thing I'm gonna do is go in this palette and I'm going to add a touch of, I think either this one or that one, I can't decide, I might mix them. I'm gonna go in with this like super tiny little brush. Put it right here. Then I'm gonna go in with just the gold. I'm gonna go under my brow bone which i actually kind of regret and put mascara on and do my lips and then i will be back i'm not that big of a fan of the lips i chose this kylie color bear and i mixed it in with aquarius from ColourPop, and they're literally the same shade aquarius is a little bit more like pinky while this one's more like cool toned ish and then my lip liner was this revlon color stay Sienna lip liner. Here's my hair. It's still not dry, but I could definitely see what my sister's talking about. It definitely like toned it out and there is <laughs> obnoxiously large strips of pink. So I will be back with my hair dried and there's <laughs> when I need the pink, it's not at the top, but it's at the freaking bottom of my hair right here. Are you serious? I don't know. I'll be back though um, in probably the next 30 minutes when this is like actually fully dried with like a little OTD. Okay, here's the outfit. Um, This is, I want to go outside. It's 1989 and it's summertime. Here's my hair dried. This shirt is my mom's and I think it's from the 90s. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. It's like, it's like boxy fit. I've literally had this in my closet since I was like 12. I bought a dupe for it because this one, since it is so old, it's very balled up. Um, obviously this material wasn't the best, but if you can see the texture, it's super gross. I wore it a lot more when I was younger, but now I just, <laughs> it's very worn. Um, so I found this dupe for it. Pretty freaking good dupe. It's from um, Target. It's their like $5 basic crop tops and it comes with a hanger. I, I figured I can't put that one on because of my foundation and it's gonna like fuck up everything. So I have this one. Isn't it just great how you can have two shirts that look like the exact same in case one doesn't work. So these are the shorts. These are from Urban. Um, I'm still deciding on them. I just ordered them online. I've been wanting these so bad. They're just the girlfriend high rise fit. That's what they look like. My dog's trying to get in. Here's my sister's puppy. He's very energetic and they're playing right now. He's very cute. And my dog is extremely heavy and I don't feel like breaking my back right now. And in store before the whole quarantine happened, I tried these on a 26 because it's like the smallest size I had. The 26 was perfect in this region, 
But then up here, it was so loose. It was like sticking out like that. I was like, all right, 25 should be a perfect fit. And it's, <laughs> when I sit down, it's so tight right here. Um, waist is perfect. It's super comfortable. I still have like the tags on them and stuff because I don't know if I should return them. Um, I really like them though, so I don't think I will. Hopefully you guys can see the pink in my hair. It's definitely more like strawberry pink now, and then it made my highlights more toned. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos every week. And let me know if you like this transformation. I hope it was eventful, entertaining. I don't know, hope you guys liked it. It's very boring, but okay. Bye guys.